half down, our side go behind, head side go behind. Let's say we don't want to hit a go behind or they're not completely on the mat. I mean, we broke them down, it's best if we get them really broken down nice and deep. But let's say we're having a little bit of problem with them. they're a bit of a hoss. We brought Dan, Dan is a hoss, and when we get the snap, my hand, we're here. we know that our hands are staying in this plate right here, back of the hand here, and I realize he, I snapped him. This is as far as I've got this guy. Good, not bad. This hand stays in play, collar hand stays in play. This hand comes out, goes to the chin. See, we'll see the hook. Back of the head, back of the head, shit. Notice you see how much I'm still just using that karate chop hand on it. I'm not doing this, getting thought, caught up in the idea of thinking this inner surface of a sweaty palm against all those little spacious oils in the back of the head is not going to lose the play. I want this to sit here on this occipital bulge right here so I can get some pull out. My elbows will go together as well. So, hook here, here, elbows together. My sternum goes to the back of the neck. We are now in an end drag position. I now will pull his head 45 and down to finish off this position. Now once we get there, that's what I'm looking for right now. Snap, they're resisting your snap, move to a head drag and get them down. Once we're there, we know we can run to that arm side a go behind or the head side a go behind. Back up please. So what we're looking at, get your snap, partial position, switch that chin, elbows, chest, pull. And then after that, you pick out which side you want to go to. Use one of those two techniques. Make sense? Sure. Thank you. Let's do it.